Welcome to Baseball America's Quick Hits. I'm Carlos Colazzo. He's Jeff Ponce. Today, we're talking about maybe the best stuff from a left-handed pitcher in baseball. Uh, that's D.L. Hall, uh, a very exciting prospect for the Baltimore Orioles. Not like they need any more exciting prospects in their system. But Jeff, tell me a little about, about D.L. Hall. Where did he come from and, and who is he right now? Yeah, uh, back in the 2017 draft class, he went 21st overall to the Orioles. Kind of one of these picks prior to the Elias uh, regime that has stuck around and kind of helped fortify the top of their system with some of the other guys that they've added. Um, as you said, came out of the Georgia prep ranks. I think the big question with him was always the stuff was ridiculous in the low minors, in one of the lowest swing rates, simply because opposing batters just let the stuff come in. They didn't even know, like, is it going to be a strike? Is it not going to be a strike? <laughs> I'm just going to stay off of it because it was so tough to barrel and so tough to sort of catch it from that weird left-handed angle. Yeah, he always has had pretty impressive stuff. So how has the arsenal evolved since he was a high schooler? I mean, uh, you have to have good stuff to go in the first round, but to be regarded as maybe the best pure stuff in the minor leagues, uh, that's that's pretty good stuff, Jeff. What's he throwing? Yeah, I mean, he's got a four-pitch mix, and honestly, all four of these pitches, you could make an argument, are probably plus. Um, you know, he featured in three different best pitches in the top 100 articles. I only did four. Of course, he was in the best pitch mix article as well for two years running. Um, it's a great four-seam fastball. It doesn't have a ton of ride, but it, it has sort of a combination of heavy bore from that left-handed side with a ton of power that allows him to dominate with it, get over a 30% whiff rate in the upper minors. That 30% threshold on a fastball usually tells me this is a swing and miss fastball, but it's not even his best pitch. That's the craziest part. As a left-hander, um, he's going to be able to navigate you know, both handedness in terms of lineups that he faces. It over a 50% whiff rate against his changeup, beat a 40% whiff rate against the slider. Oh, and I think he had another 40% whiff rate or so, maybe might even be a little bit higher, against his curveball. He has two definitively different breaking ball shapes. This guy's really, really unique. Um, I get about as excited as anybody when I'm talking about the DL Hall pitch mix just because it's so good. It's just a matter of refining command, sort of getting that in zone, challenging hitters with it, and knowing how to sequence. And I think that's some of the things we're, we're starting to see happen with DL Hall. Yeah, so there's no questions about this stuff overall. There's no questions about the depth of the pitch mix overall. Uh, that stuff from a left-handed pitcher has me really excited, but clearly there's a question here with control, with command. Do you think that's going to progress enough for him to potentially start at the next level? Uh, or are we talking about maybe a lockdown reliever with the Hall? Yeah, I think he's one of these guys that his stuff will play in any role. Mm -hmm. uh, but when you look at a pitcher like this that has sort of this depth of pitch mix, he's got four potentially plus pitches, he's a lefty. The big question is, can he just sort of tick up that command enough that he's throwing enough strikes, he's challenging hitters. As I said you know, previously in the second question, if he's sequencing well enough, I think there's still starter stuff here. This is a guy that I would bet on, maybe taking that relief role early in his career like we've seen with other guys with big stuff, Max Scherzer, others that eventually sort of develop into starting pitchers. A lot of starting pitching development or pitching development in general happens at their major league level. We know that the Orioles have been a pretty good development organization. They're very forward thinking in terms of how they approach the development with their players. And Hall's a guy that I I, I want to believe in him being a starter, but if he's not, he's got the stuff to dominate out of the pen. Maybe even in like, you know, a sort of hater-esque sort of role where he's going you know, five to six outs consistently and kind of even bridging the gap sometimes when they need it. Hall's a really important piece to this Orioles team moving forward, especially with Grayson Rodriguez and some of the other players that they've acquired over the offseason. If Hall can take a step forward, be a starter for them, it kind of puts a different face in that rotation. Absolutely, it really does. I mean, we talk a lot about the, the hitting prospects with Baltimore, but having two arms like Grayson Rodriguez and Deal Hall, righty and a lefty, a pretty exciting combination to have. Thanks for the breakdown, Jeff. I'm Carlos. Thanks for watching Baseball America's Quick Hits, everybody.